Well, if you've been to the grocery store recently, you know that food prices are on the rise and are expected to continue to climb for at least the foreseeable future. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Malawson and Neil. We hear about fuel prices driving food prices. We hear about shortages in other countries. Kind of what's driving the increase in food prices right now? Well, Mike, once again, we've seen these food prices increasing, which of course shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. What is interesting, though, is that in the latest American Farm Bureau Market Basket survey, almost all of the 16 items they looked at saw a price increase. Now, while prices for this informal survey were higher than the consumer price index for all foods, it does represent increasing costs for consumers overall. Let's take a quick look here at the numbers. The three biggest price leaders were shredded cheese, vegetable oil, and ground chuck beef. Cheese is up almost 50 cents, which is due in part to higher costs for milk. Vegetable oil and beef both represent prices for grains and livestock, which have been at record or near record levels levels here lately. We've also seen higher prices for chicken and higher beef costs are driving up the price for all meats and this winter severe cold weather in Florida and Idaho have hurt citrus and potato crops respectively. Only three items from the survey decreased in cost or remain the same, which is bacon, bagged salad and apples. While bacon is lower in price in this survey, it's coming down from all time highs and all three of these items are higher year to year. Finally, when we compare these prices to the consumer price index for all foods, we find it somewhat comparable while the CPI is lower in increase. Other living expenses such as the price of gas, as you mentioned, Mike, and clothes are also higher, making the cost for consumers for staple items higher than where we were a year ago. The bottom line here is that we've seen an entire year's worth of higher prices for consumers so far. The good news is with the economy stabilizing and a larger than expected South American harvest, we could see food prices coming down this summer, although I expect the next survey to show more price increases for the second quarter we're in. But hopefully, Mike, we'll see some price relief as the heat comes on. Well, Neil, I hope that is in fact the case, but right now, Smart consumers have got to make some pretty difficult decisions and went at the grocery store. Neil Malawson, thanks. And remember, you can hear any of Neil's reports. Just listen in daily on the Louisiana Farm Bureau Radio Network for a list of stations where you can tune in. You can visit our website, twilighttv.org, and look for the link called LFB Radio Network on the left side of the home page. That does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Join us next week when we'll bring you the opening of the 2011 regular Louisiana legislative session. We'll look at the budget battles and the bills your representatives and senators have filed, and we'll tell you what you need to know. Until then, you can watch any of our stories online 24 hours a day. You know the address, twilatv.org. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Michael Danham. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.